the 2060 non-super. Like a GPU that is often compared to the 1660 super. It used to be a good miner during the Ethereum days, but right now it is not. I urge and implore everybody who owns one of these to sell it, and if you are mining with one, please stop and get rid of it. Now, this is just a hot take, just my opinion. You know, there are plenty of situations where I'm sure you could prove me wrong, but overall, I would say do not keep this thing for mining, and let me show you why. Now, one thing I want to preface with these numbers is that I did not spend an insane amount of time on these. Now, there are some of you that have been mining with these for months that can get better numbers than I can. I spent, I want to say, maybe 20 minutes in algorithm to try to use the best miner to try to get the best overclock settings. I did adjust from the 1660 super test to try to get my numbers better, and they are better. I used different miners this time around. So I appreciate everyone who alerted me to that. Now remember, this is all silicone, silicon lottery. My GPU is not yours. And like I said, I did not spend time tweaking these to, the, to perfection. I just needed to get a general idea to insert these numbers into hashrate.no and back up my claims. So let's go over them now. All right, guys, let me show you what I got. Um, so the following chart goes over the algos I mined, the hash rate I got the power from the software and the wall. I'm only going to talk about the power from the wall because that's the number that really matters. And then the miner that I'm using. So you can see with Nexa, I got 38 mega hash at 147 watts on the wall using Regal. Iron Fish, I have two settings where I just tweaked with the tweaked the uh, mem clock a little, or I'm sorry, the locked core clock a little bit. I got 6.9 giga hash at 80 watts, 7.3 giga hash at 85 watts. You do the math, which one you think is better. I did Ergo and Radiant where I got 43 mega hash and 191 mega hash and 111 watts from the wall total using G minor. I did radiant on BZ minor. I got 420 mega hash at 70 watts on the wall. And then Caspa, I got 337 mega hash at 80 watts on the wall using LOL minor. Now you can see those numbers and let me show you why these numbers are terrible. All right guys, so here you can see the 26D settings in hashrate.no. Now I've released a video on why these numbers are not accurate, but I'm just going to use them just as a guide, a baseline, you could say. So we're at 13 cents per kilowatt hour, which is, I would consider, lower than average electric for the majority of people in the U.S. and for especially for people in the world, at least at residential rates. So if you look, let's look down, we'll look at all the coins. You see Radiant is a negative five cents, Alphium, I can't pronounce it, negative eight cents, Caspa, negative nine cents, Ironfish, negative 10, Nexa, negative 11, Kilocoin, negative 12, I'm going to do a video on Kilocoin down the road, Octospace, negative 15, Ethereum Proof of Work is negative 17, Ethereum Classic is negative 17, I mean, it just goes down, Nothing, nothing's profitable at this rate. Now, let me show you, when you actually use the real power numbers, what your actual numbers are. So as you can see in the middle here, I have, let's compare them. So let's go to Radiant. Radiant is only showing a negative five cent loss, whereas the real numbers are you're losing about nine cents a day. Caspa is showing nine cents when the real loss is negative 13 cents a day. Iron Fist is showing negative 10 cents a loss. When I'm showing negative 24 cents per day, and Nexa is showing an 11 cent loss, where I'm showing a whopping 29 cents a day. Now I admit that my Nexa power numbers were a little high, but I honestly don't think they're that high, and let's just say they're five to 10% off, you're still looking at probably negative 25 cents, which is still a huge deal. Now what does this all mean, guys? It means that Crewman thinks it's time for you to eBay your 30, 2060s. I know this is a hot take and it's an unpopular opinion. Now remember, this is just my opinion. If you don't want to sell your 2060s and you love them, you can just tell me to kick rocks and move on. But if you could get yourself about 150 to 160 per 30 or per 2060 based on eBay prices, then you can buy a 3070 for like 300 ish, give or take. It looks like based on eBay prices. So if you can sell two third. 2260s equal 13070. I think it's worth it. Now you may have paid a lot for these things if you bought them during the bull run, but a 3070 was worth way more during the bull run as well. So all the prices are relative. 
Thank you guys for watching. I know nobody really likes to watch a hate fest video. Um, I know this is definitely kind of a negative one, but I really, really am just trying to hammer home that if you have a 3060 for mining, I would sell it. I really, really think it's time to sell it. And if you were thinking about buying one, please don't. Don't do it. You want to stick to the newer generation GPUs. This thing was great. It did its job. It is time to put this baby out to pasture. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Fruitman out.